is the exercise working to get you more in touch with something coming to pass from the beginning, say? Like from nothing, not taking so much assumption, say, not taking for granted, right? Say, like you take shoes for granted, you take shoelaces for granted, you take knots for granted, say. you take rope for granted, you, know, you take s s um, flat stuff like skin or cloth or whatever for granted. You know, but there was a time when that doesn't exist, see? It's all invented, just like this uh, little self within was an invention. And you still hold, that, hold on to that, don't you? You still hold on to being a little self within, don't you? See? See? Well, it's, you know, it's a, it's a bad habit. <laughs> Hard to break. You don't have to be a little self within. Why do you have to be a little self within? That's an invention. That was invented way after, you know, tools for getting termites. <laughs> that was invented way after, way later. Little self within thing. People lived and had civilizations and shit without being a little self within. It's not necessary. Mind. Mind is an invention. Have you ever seen one? <laughs> why, why do you believe in mind? Let alone the unconscious mind. It's another invention, you see? These are inventions. Can you get the existential nature of inventing them? See, when somebody like Newton invents gravity, you'd say discover, I say invents. When Newton is, invents gravity, you see, he's working in an existential world. That's why he's called a genius, see, because he can work in such a world and then, wow, he can, what you call, discover something nobody else ever discovered before. Or Einstein, you know, invents relativity. Right? See, he's working in an existential world. He's not starting with the stuff that is. He's starting with stuff that isn't. Because there was no, you see, what didn't exist before, etc. You know what I'm saying? Do I have to go on? See? You start with some, all, all discoveries, all inventions, etc. Some of which are incredibly profound and influence the entire culture. Um, and everything you experience, like language, for example, being an invention, mind, probably, you know, ergo psychology, etc. It's the unconscious mind. See, this influences your world. See, I mean, it, language dominates your world. Mind and the idea of mind and being a little one within dominates your world, right? See, and talking to yourself. See, without mind. And without being a little one within, you talking to yourself would be a different matter, wouldn't it? Say you couldn't have talking to yourself without language. See how it dominates, it creates an entire world that doesn't actually exist. And certainly didn't exist before. Such an invention was invented. You don't want to just ride on the shoulders and or the backs of people who have come before, do you? See, see, this is some, this is some most people don't. It's like what you, heretofore, you're probably like everybody, or most people who. The only thing that can be gotten is knowledge. You study or Google, right? See, that's all you can do, right? Is you can study what somebody else has invented, but you don't grasp that they've invented it. You think it's just so, so much of you know, the world. You think it's just so, right? See? Yeah. See? And so much of it, so much of it was invented by other people. Now, are you just going to be a lazy sons of bitch and 
let everybody else do all the work, <laughs> and all you do is suck on their tit, okay? All you do is, you know, use their formulas and their inventions and their creations and live within it, live within the world that's been created so far, without even knowing what the world is, without even knowing what it is, without even knowing that these are inventions, for crying out loud, and just taking it for granted as if it's a reality that exists all by itself. God said, let there be language. God said, let there be mind. God said, let there be body. God said, oh, maybe God said that one. Anyway, God said, let there be. 